Hi everyone, welcome to our latest video in the Head in the Cloud series hosted by Citrus Global. Here today is Lars Wasserman and he is the founder of an exciting company called Cardilink. Lars, I'll leave it to you. Good morning, Jake. Thanks for having me. Thank you very much indeed for being a part of this in the Head in the Cloud series. I mean, the forefront of everyone's mind and what's happened throughout 2020 has been COVID-19. How were you during lockdown, Lars? I can't, I can't remember anything like it. This has been something different in so many ways. Agreed. Yeah. I, ca I couldn't imagine that the government would not allow, let a, people allow to leave their houses. In, yeah. in, in this day and age, this, and of course the implications on the business side are also quite severe. We see a lot of uh, companies in troubled waters at the moment. Very much so, yeah, very much so indeed. I mean, personally, what have been your biggest frustrations, you know, from a personal perspective, a business perspective as well? well as, as human beings, we are social beings, so. <laughs> very true. <laughs> I certainly miss the interaction. Yeah, I did. Uh, I mean, privately, just the occasional party, but of course, also the business travel, the business meetings, interacting yeah. with partners and customers. Yeah, it's, it's not quite the same, is it, than uh, virtually? No, absolutely not. No, I totally agree. I, I, I suppose what so the social interaction was a big frustration for you. Were there any others from from a business perspective? Well, there's a there's a certain layer of insecurity above yeah. the market, so we see a certain hesitation with bigger projects to materialize. It's not affecting us as Cardlink in particular so much because being software as a service, <laughs> we have we have running licenses, which, which yeah. uh, keep us afloat. Yeah, yeah. But of course, we'd like to start new and bigger projects whereby we see some hesitation, yeah. Of course. I mean, it's been a lesson for everyone. There's been lessons to learn for everyone, you know, and so, as I say, the saying goes, every day is a school day, of course, and it has been for yeah. me throughout this period. But what are the main lessons that you've learned or the most important lessons that you've learned? Well, what I've learned is uh, to even more trust our our people in the company because yeah. I, no matter where they are, they just work for our vision. They work for our common goal. And it That's doesn't good. really matter if they work from home, if they work from the office. I also feel you don't really need that layer of control. We are not clocking hours in Cardlink. I That's trust good. everyone that they give their absolute best for our company. So you put a lot of autonomy in your staff? Yes. And I, I feel that it pays back. Definitely. The results uh, speak for themselves. That's, that's great to hear. Do you think you would have done that? Were you doing that before COVID, before lockdown? Or has this emerged since, do you think? I would probably have uh, be a little more hesitant when it, when it comes to home office. Mm -hmm. Because from my personal experience, you also tend to get distracted at home. Yeah. But actually now after the lockdown, I feel that when I really want to get stuff done, I stay out of the office. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So you think now you're more productive at home? When it comes to certain tasks, uh, definitely, yeah. yeah. It's more yeah. easier to shut out other stuff. You just put your phone on mute and... Yeah, no, will not disturb you. I agree on that. I think sometimes uh, when I was working from home, I found myself not taking a lunch break. Uh, if you're busy and you're doing things and then whereas in the office you know in the lunch there's usually a set time and you know you sort of yeah. go out of the office for a walk get some food or something like that but at home sometimes the time can pass you by and next thing you know it's mid-afternoon and you've not eaten anything or not had anything since breakfast yeah so. but of course after after the, the severe lockdown period everybody was just happy to go back to the office yeah. interact with each other have the occasional chat <laughs> very much so when did you when did you sort of start merging back into the office? I know Germany was a bit ahead of the UK in many aspects. I, but I think it was towards the beginning of June. Beginning of June. Yeah. Yeah. I think for us it was the beginning of July. But yeah, as you as uh, as you mentioned then it was very welcomed from me. And now we do have the option to like work remotely, but I, I still enjoy going into the office, as you say, for that social interaction side of things. Yeah, and looking back, I would always start a software company again. Because doing software, doing IT, it's a lot easier to work from home, to work yeah. from remote. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You mentioned there going back. I mean, if you could go back in time, would you have done anything differently to prepare for it? You know, in, I say hindsight is a wonderful thing, of course, but would you have done anything differently? 
That's a tough question. I think let's uh, postpone that for another year or two, <laughs> because that I I think there's many implications that this 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 lockdown is changing society on many yeah. levels, which we will only see going forward. Yeah, no, I agree. Well, everyone's calling it the new normal now. Uh, exactly. That's, well, that that does bring me on to my next question. Actually, what do you think is here to stay as a result of all of this? I hope that uh, there's uh, people, there's more awareness for health. Yeah. Health is not a given, but health is something we have to actually work for. Yeah. I hope there's more awareness for the power of connected solutions, which is exactly what Cardlink does. Yeah. I hope there's more awareness for remote solutions and that we also get more, become more a digital country. Sometimes when I travel abroad, I feel that Germany, in some areas, we're getting a little bit behind when it comes okay. to digitalization. Right, yeah. So it would be nice if we could also start catching up. In what areas, areas are they? What areas would you say that is? Just the mo most annoying is cellular connectivity. I know from many people working from home, you ca just can't reach them on, the, on their cellular phones because yeah. they are not connected. Mm. It's the 21st century and yeah, that makes you think, <laughs> Yeah, can't we do better here? It's, it's true, actually. I speak to obviously people in Germany every day, and uh, I was speaking to a guy yesterday who was driving on the um, on the autobahn, and his yeah. phone just completely cut off halfway through. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I know the UK is a lot smaller, but you don't really get that on the motorway. You've always got a signal pretty much wherever you go. But it's an interesting yeah. point. Actually, I didn't never really thought of anything like that. Do you think yeah. anything else is here to stay? Well, the the, the workplace is changing. That's for yeah. sure. I mean, you have to have that mix between home office, office place, and maybe there's even a third place, like co-working places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's interesting. Yeah, interesting viewpoint, actually. But I think, yeah, homework, um, working from home is definitely here to stay for a lot of people now. I think it has to be factored in for every role that you go for, doesn't it, as a result now? Yeah. Uh, as, as a founder, uh, you've obviously ha you know been leading a business throughout. Uh, what advice would you give to businesses moving forwards, knowing what you know now? Well, don't really tie your business to one place. Mm -hmm. I mean, business is, for me, it's more an idea and a vision, okay. but not necessarily a fancy office place. Right. I think the, the very fancy office, that might be a thing of the past now. Right, okay. People look at it differently after after covid okay so don't keep it in one place is are there any other areas or any other bits of advice that you think could be worthwhile sharing well, well every major disruption is also an opportunity and that's how sure. we are looking at it we are in medical technology we we do connectivity yeah so i think i midterm i expect that this pandemic might be even a driver for what we do Definitely, yeah. I think there's always going to be people and, and companies and sectors that are going to be heavily impacted for the worst, and then there's always going to be those that are going to profit in crises like Absolutely. this. Yeah. Sure, yeah. I totally agree. What what advice or what do you ask, actually, of a modern talent partner moving forward? Well, I, I would ask for a deep understanding of what we do in business, because the better you understand what Cardlink does, the better yeah. you would understand the people that we're looking for. Okay. And being a startup on the, on the, on the step now to being, becoming a scale up company, there's a certain type of people that we are looking into. They have to have a little bit of an entrepreneurial spirit in okay. there. I mean, there's, there's, there's more insecurity than yeah. in a large corporate, but I think it can also be much more exciting and much, yeah, the, the fun is higher. <laughs> someone who's a bit more like a maybe a bit of a nomad or a bit more uh, adventurous i think adventurous is the it, it can be a roller coaster from time to time yeah so the, i would say say the highs are higher and the lows are lower <laughs> of course and yeah. that's not for everyone's taste <laughs> no, that, that's uh, yeah that is very true that is very true yeah. indeed uh, i mean i was going to say on the technical aspect now in, in your opinion what what would you say then? What well, the next most important trend in cloud computing is, in your opinion? Well, looking at also on a global scale, there's a bit of a technology war going on <laughs> yeah. between two two big countries. 
Yes. I think we, as Europe, we st should step out of the shade a little bit and really focus on building a high tech sector in Europe in that area. Okay. Well, we're, we're focusing on, on what key areas you think? Well, I think it would be asked too much to build our own operating system, but at least to have some of the fundamentals, some of the networking, some of the security elements, they should be European. Okay, brilliant. Well, that's uh, that's pretty much it for me from uh, the questions here. I, you know, thanks uh, very much for your time and being a guest on the Head in the Cloud series. Is there, is there anything else that you'd like to add um, about, I suppose, I suppose uh, your personal experiences in COVID as a, as a business owner and, and, you know, from a startup perspective, is there anything else you'd like to share maybe? Uh, no. I, actually, I'm excited what the future will bring. That's good. This is accelerating the change. So let's see where it goes. It's good to be very optimistic. I like, I like that, yeah. Lars. Very good to hear. It's a good positive outlook to have, indeed. But look, thank, thanks again for your time of being a guest today on the Head in the Cloud series. Hopefully, this is the first and you can come back again and we can discuss future, future relevant topics.